Hi guys, and welcome to Tech Temple. So, in today's video, we'll be doing a brief review on Apple's new car. In 2014, Apple began working on Project Titan, with upwards of 1,000 car experts and engineers developing an electric vehicle at a secret location near the company's Cupertino headquarters. Over the course of the last several years, internal strife, leadership issues, and other problems impacted the car project, and 2016 rumors even suggested Apple shelved plans for a car. But the most recent information indicates Apple has overcome development problems and is moving forward with plans to develop a consumer-facing autonomous vehicle. The Apple Car Project has seen multiple leadership changes and hundreds of employees have been laid off during the course of development. But it is now under the leadership of John Gianandrea, Apple's AI and machine learning chief, who took over the reins from Bob Mansfield after Mansfield retired in 2020. In December 2020, it was confirmed that Apple is indeed still working to launch a car, and right now, plans to release a vehicle in three to six years. Reuters has said Apple is aiming for 2024, but Apple analyst Ming-Chi Kuo believes a car won't launch until 2025 to 2027 at the earliest. The Apple Electric Car Project is an electric car project undergoing research and development by Apple Inc. Apple has yet to openly discuss any of its self-driving research, but around 5,000 employees were reported to be working on the project as of 2018. In May 2018, Apple reportedly partnered with Volkswagen to produce an autonomous employee shuttle van based on the T6 transporter commercial vehicle platform. In August 2018, the BBC reported that Apple had 66 road-registered driverless cars with 111 drivers registered to operate those cars. In 2020, it is believed that Apple is still working on self-driving related hardware, software, and service as a potential product instead of actual Apple-branded cars. In the first half of 2021, Apple lost several top managers for the self-driving car team, which could potentially result in development setbacks. Apple will work with a manufacturing partner to produce the vehicles, and the company is developing next-level battery technology to extend range and efficiency. Apple has held discussions with Hyundai and other automobile manufacturers, and though there were rumors that Apple and Hyundai would ink a deal by March with an aim to start production in 2024, it may take longer for Apple to find a manufacturing partner. In June of 2017, Apple CEO Tim Cook spoke publicly about Apple's work on autonomous driving software, confirming the company's work in a rare, candid moment. Apple doesn't often share details on what it's working on, but when it comes to the car software, it's harder to keep quiet because of regulations. If you're enjoying this video, then make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more amazing technology videos. Over the course of the last several years, there's been a lot of back and forth on the Apple Car project. Early rumors said that Apple would build a full car, but then leadership struggles, development issues, and internal strife led to rumors that the project had been scaled back and would instead focus on self-driving technology. So what is Apple CarPlay and how does it work? Utilizing your smartphone in the car has lots of benefits like playing music and using navigation apps. But it's important that you do so safely, since using your phone while driving comes with potentially deadly distractions. That's why Apple provides CarPlay to make your phone's best features available on the road in a safe manner. CarPlay is Apple's standard that allows you to connect your iPhone to your car and display a simplified iOS-like interface on its infotainment system. This allows you to access certain apps for use in your vehicle. CarPlay makes good use of Siri, allowing you to issue commands and listen to media without taking your eyes off the road. While most modern cars already have a somewhat smart interface built in, these are typically pretty terrible. They're often complicated, have lousy voice assistants, and don't let you easily use apps on your phone. CarPlay is consistent on any car that supports it, bringing a familiar interface for iPhone users. CarPlay doesn't replace your manufacturer's stock system. You can return to it with the tap anytime. And unlike Android Auto, you can't use CarPlay on your phone's display. It only works with a compatible car or stereo unit. The Apple Car Design The design and technology behind Project Titan remains very much in flux, sources said, with Apple at one point considering using BMW's i3 as the basis for its Apple Car. Apple and BMW have held talks about a potential partnership 
Though both BMW and Daimler reportedly ended talks with Apple over who might lead the project and own data. Apple, which does not change its product designs much apart from its technical features, is expected to continue like this in cars. Its color to be soft and its interior and exterior design to be simple. In the reports released by Reuters at the end of 2020, it is said that Apple aims to use lithium-ion phosphate batteries in its car. Considering all these features, the long period of uncertainty still leaves us wondering. Apple iCar, after mass production, can fall into the category of highly preferred vehicle in the world and surpass its competitors. Automotive companies' CEOs, on the contrary, stated that it may be difficult for Apple to handle the strings in the automotive industry. According to the Economic Daily Times report, it was confirmed that the rumors that Apple will sign an agreement to start production in 2024 are not true and that they did not meet with Hyundai and Kia in February of 2021. It turned out that the reasons for this was that while Apple wanted a partnership, automotive companies wanted only to be a material supplier. There are rumors that Apple is still looking for a partner company and has recently begun talks with Nissan. The fact that Apple, which is loyal to its confidentiality agreements, has not denied the allegations so far and has kept its silence at the same time makes the project possible. It is not yet known whether the autonomous system Apple is working on will be offered as a part of the car or only as a software product to companies. So at the end, let's see what people expect from Apple. There's been no shortage of renderings from designers displaying their vision of an Apple car. But when it comes to what the car will actually look like, well, there's not much to go on. However, to make the electric vehicle as energy efficient as possible, the car will need to have an aerodynamic design to reduce drag. If Apple is going to compete with other companies and others who are making huge progress in battery life, then it will need to set the bar exceedingly high when it comes to mileage per charge. While the company will no doubt have to at least match the competition, it would be ideal if it could greatly surpass the expectation and get somewhere between 400 to 500 miles with a single charge. Of course, it's not enough for the company to just extend the range. It also needs to keep the charging time low. Audi's e-tron Quattro car is set to fully charge in just 50 minutes. Porsche's latest concept car, the Mission E, which is expected to go into production in five years, is set to charge about 80% or get a 250-mile range in just 15 minutes. Apple would do well to match this time or beat it. It would also be impressive if Apple could integrate some sort of solar panels on the vehicle so that the car's battery could get an extra boost when needed. The self-driving in the car will be also a plus. So guys, let me know down in the comments section below, how is the Apple's new car going to be? For more interesting content, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Have a nice day and I'll see you on the next video.